What is going on guys, Mr. Monkey here and I'm back with a new video. Today, I am here reacting to the top 5 worst trades in NBA history. I haven't seen the video yet and I'm really excited because I don't know what to expect to be honest. I, I just know the thumbnail is uh, Harden at the Thunder. So I, most likely that will be in the video. But if you enjoy the video, smash a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so let's get started. Oh, Bobo. Now, everybody knows it's not easy to win a championship in NBA, and sometimes in the name of reaching the top of the mountain, NBA teams almost risk everything in hopes to achieve success. And Dynamic a lot of the time, duo. when you look at the aftermatch of a truly disastrous trade, you think to yourself, LeBron what the hell was the front office D Wade. Don't worry, I'm here for you. Today, we're going to quickly run through the... Five worst, worst NBA trades trade since, since 2010. 2010. And number five, we have Rajon Rondo headed to the Dallas Mavs. That was a horrible trade. Why would the Celtics even do that? On December 18, 2014, Rondo was traded along with Dwight Powell to the Dallas Mavericks in exchange for Jay Crowder, Jameer Nelson, and Brandon Wright. Oh my so god. Do not forget about the 2015 first round that pick. That is a whole... pick. Who's the now, pick? Now, being a Mavs fan, I still have a bad taste in my mouth through this whole ordeal. But I still have to give credit to the owner, Mark Cuban, and the coaching staff for rolling the dice on this trade and actually going for a finals push. And of course, I'm not going to lie, adding Rondo on paper looks very nice. It does look nice. And Rondo's playmaking ability and defensive lockdown ability. But he just played like garbage there. Only would tremendously help the Mavs on both ends of the court. In reality, it was a complete Fuck disaster from the get-go. Now, Rondo looked completely lost in the Mavs offense. His inability to shoot ends up blocking the Mavericks' spacing and thus their offense to trash. Couldn't stand the Mavs. And of course, don't even get me started on his goddamn free throws. Any of that shit. Damn. Next up is Brooklyn loses his chance to acquire Damian Lillard. Ah, classic Billy King trade. <laughs> this dude clearly doesn't give a fuck about future first round picks. This is <laughs> probably why Brooklyn's future looks so dreadful at the moment. Dude, Brooklyn's Damian ass. Damian was able to opt out and become an unrestricted free agent following the 2011 season, and the Nets desperately trying to give him motivation to stay. The Nets pulled the trigger on this deal at the deadline to help assure any concerns Damn. that they actually want him to stay. So the Nets actually ended up receiving Gerald Wallace from the Portland Trailblazers, of all people, for a top oh, three God. protected first round pick. He's, he's eight. Trade, Gerald Wallace he's had cancer. a very low mediocre time in Brooklyn, averaging seven and a half points, four and a half rebounds Damn. per game. He's they cancer. Did not mesh together. He's no garbage. Worry, Gerald Wallace still got paid. And guess who Portland picked up with the draft pick? You guessed it, the rookie of the year, Damian Lillard. Yo, that's an amazing you know, Wallace trade. Said you either hit it big or you don't. They took a gamble and For it backfired. Portland. But don't worry, this isn't the last time you'll see Billy <laughs> King in this list. Portland got so lucky. Moving along now, and number three we have New York trades for Andre Bargnani. I know what you're thinking. The fuck is that? Make a stupid ass who the fuck are you? Hey? Who the fuck are you? Hey? Who the fuck are you? Trade like this, and I agree. Who is that? On July 2nd, 2013, Andre Bernardi got traded from the <laughs> Toronto Raptors in exchange for Marcus Camby, Steve Novak, two future second round picks, and one first round draft pick in the 2016 Who's the pick? draft. It seems like we all knew Andre Bernardi was straight trash, except for the New York Knicks. Oh, God. Horrible seasons from the Raptors. Dude, he is garbage. He horrendous defense and was one of the worst rebounding big men in the NBA. And Boy! All off, it always seemed like he was injured. Oh, God. Surprise, he is Garbo. He arrived in New York. He only played a handful of games. In the games that he did play, he wasn't <clears throat> playing so hot. At least he got Chris course, Dapps. Now the New York Knicks are kicking themselves in the ass for this. Because imagine if the Knicks had a chance to add a lottery pick player to aid Porzingis or Melo. That would be nice. Their holes, either at point guard or at the wing. So they got another so player. That pick will either go to Toronto or Denver, depending on where it lands. And the Knicks, for now, look like they're going to be spectators on draft day rather than participants. At number two, we have the James Harden trade. 
Yeah, that was now, I have the to admit trade. that I had a lot of trouble either putting this in the number one or two position simply because this is such a game changing trade. In the summer that made Houston amazing, to bro. On a contract extension, the Oklahoma City Thunder traded James Harden <clears throat> along with oh God. Daquan Cook, Cole Aldridge to the Houston Rockets for Kevin Martin, Jeremy Lamb, and two first round picks. Okay. Bro, really who would do that? Because the year prior, Why? he just made it to the NBA championship, and James Harden was coming off an amazing year where he could have Why won would they the do that? of the year award. Bro. In the summer, they offered him four years around 52 to $55 million to retain his services. Of course, he wouldn't they budge. They should have kept more, him. And OKC just simply couldn't do it. Since Damn, he just got Houston, slumped. James Harden has been simply oh, God. dominating. He's been averaging around 26 points per game. He's a multiple time all star. He's All-Star, a beast. MVP, candidate. MVP this year. Even though he's a comment down player, below if you think he might, if he's going to be top three. Besides Russell, Russell's winning it. And on the other hand, Oklahoma's assets, Kevin Martin and Jeremy Lin, aren't even on the team anymore. Damn. But of course, they did get Steven Adams out of it, which hey, is a, Steven, a complete failure. Steven Adams Until is pretty day, good. People are still talking I about like this him. notorious trade and what could have been and how many championships could this dynasty have won. At number one, the Brooklyn Nets. Honestly, Hedge none, I think. Time. And I told you my friend Billy King would be back, didn't I? <laughs> Man, this Billy one King's very a dumbass. Bad. I don't even know where to start. But I understand that the Nets took a chance and went for it. But my God, when you mortgage off your entire fucking team to win five playoff games, you deserve every shred of criticism you get. True. On July right? 12, 2013, the Brooklyn Nets officially announced they had acquired Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Jason Terry, DJ White from the Boston That's Celtics age. in exchange for Jared Wallace, Chris Humphrey. And Marshawn Brooks. Dude, they're like 40 yeah. years oh, old. Oh, we're not Boy. done yet. They still have their unprotected first round draft picks in 2014, 2016, and 2018. Damn. So shout out to Danny Ainge for sticking his hand inside the chest of the Brooklyn Nets. That's and such a good deal. Straight out. In total, the Nets spent a record $197 million on salary and tax during Holy the 2013 shit. 2014 season with 44 God wins damn. and one playoff series to show for it. Fortunately, for the five Nets, games, it does get a little almost two hundred million well, the Nets dollars. Didn't give up much in terms of players. They're paying the price right now. They never thought they'd have to deal with the time of the trade. And now none of them play for the each Nets other. Simply thought for they would have won a championship by now, but instead they're in desperate need of a rebuilding mode. The only problem is they Boston just killed has all the goddamn draft picks. They're dumb as fuck. The Brooklyn Nets are gonna be complete trash until they figure out Boy, how to turn around on. somehow. In my opinion, it's going to be a painful Karasov? few years until the team finally gets out underneath this terrible trade. They yeah, they're just going to be age. I appreciate y'all watching. This was my very first YouTube video, so let me know where I can so, improve, what you guys like. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, that's Yeah, that's going to be it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, subscribe, like, and add me on Twitter to uh, start the giveaway, to enter the giveaway. The winner will be announced next week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. I already said that. And peace. Bye. Bye.